Next week, we've been waiting 36 years. Morning, Aviators. The stars of Top Gun Maverick right here on Today. And the nation's sweetheart. Oh, my God. Like, driving into Ramsey Street. Amazing. Kylie Minogue, an Aussie TV exclusive. We'll see you next week. I'll see you real soon. Hello again and a day out on the water was a good way to escape the election buzz and it was certainly the perfect day for it. The city reached a sunny top of 15 degrees and that was after its coldest morning of the year, a minimum of 5 degrees, but it was even colder elsewhere. Yarra Glen and Epping dipped to just 1 degree, Rosebud 2, its coldest morning since last year. Scoresby, Moorabbin, Tullamarine and Avalon also recorded their lowest minimums of 2022, dipping to three degrees. The payoff was magnificent blue skies and maximums of 17 through northeastern suburbs, mostly 15 and 16 elsewhere. In Gippsland, the Latrobe Valley dipped to minus 0.3, its coldest morning since last winter. In the northeast, Rutherglen, minus 0.2 and in the southwest, Westmere fell to minus 2. But daytime temperatures rebounded, especially in Rutherglen. From that low starting point, it went on to be one of the warmest spots in the state, reaching 20 degrees. The clear skies and light winds extended right across the southeast of the country, but the showers continue along the southern Queensland coast. Tomorrow, it will be the southwest of the country bracing for heavy rain. A strong cold front is expected to move in and it will also generate damaging winds and large waves. But for us, nothing much will change as a very slow moving high sits to our south. The temperature is already dropping around the state and a frost warning has been issued for all but the north, west and north central districts. There'll be widespread minimums of 2, 3 and 4 degrees. Then tomorrow we'll be under sunny skies and light breezes with maximums in the high teens and low 20s through the north, mostly 16 and 17 through the south. Melbourne is in for another brisk start to the day. 2 degrees at Yarra Glen, 3 at Pakenham and Ringwood and there'll be areas of frost and fog through the east. 4 and 5 degrees elsewhere. Elsewhere. And maximums should be slightly lower than today, 14 and 15 degrees. The city is forecast to drop to 6 degrees before reaching 14 tomorrow afternoon. Monday is looking mostly sunny with a forecast top of 15. Tuesday will be sunny as well from a low of 5. It should reach 16 degrees and then some warmer days. A sunny 19 on Wednesday, 18 on Thursday and that's when showers are set to arrive up to 4 millimetres, showery and 16 on Friday and Saturday. And another crisp morning awaits tomorrow. The city is expected to dip to 6 degrees, even colder around the suburbs. Early cloud will clear for a sunny afternoon and a top of 14. So the votes are in. We want more sunny days like this, Pete. And a sausage. <laughs> of course. <laughs> of course. Thank you, Maddie. <laughs> Melbourne, that's what's news this Saturday. Nine's comprehensive election coverage <laughs> continues next. Enjoy your evening and goodbye.